What's going on, y'all? This be your boy Scott by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess. Okay. Now, before we get into today's mess, I just want to let you guys know that tonight is the Whether You Like It or Not season three panel. We will be discussing Basketball Wives, which is the show that we're about to discuss right here on Yes for the Mess, as well as Real Housewives of Atlanta. And you will definitely see me, Ya, Simply Sakina. Um, T will be late and Reggie will be here. Josiah nor really be will be in attendance tonight. Um, as you already know, Josiah is busy moving and really B is still out of town. So that will only have me, Sakina, Yas, uh, T and Reggie, and we'll all be over at Yah Critice's house tonight. So be sure to tune in at 9.15 Eastern Time, 8.15 Central Time. That's 9.15 Eastern Time, 8.15 Central Time. So be on the lookout for the Whether You Like It or Not panel tonight. And if you need the link, the link is already on my community wall, y'all. All right? So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I hope you guys are finally home, getting yourself together, because I know it's, it's a drive home right now. And hopefully you guys are listening to me on your way home and if you are i definitely thank you for the support and everything everything else under the sun okay now um before now we're about to get into some tea for today okay so let me yeah let me get myself together because i didn't even put my overlay up here yet um i was so in a rush okay so as you guys already know that last night was um a new episode of basketball wives and this lady right here malaysia was a big topic of discussion by the time the episode was over now the situation at hand happened was in this particular episode we were introduced to another female on the show by the name of ashley now i don't know if ashley's going to be like a guest or like a friend of the show or a reoccurring cast member or something like that but she was randomly introduced to the show as Malaysia's friend. When they got to Jennifer's event, um, it was revealed that Ashley already knew Angel. Malaysia wanted to know why. She said that she used to deal with Angel's baby father, Tariq. Okay. I'm not, isn't Tariq deceased? And I'm not even being funny. Isn't he deceased? Because if so, why is this, why is this man still the topic of discussion? Child, listen. I'm confused by a lot of stuff that's going on on this damn show right now, and I'm just going to be real about it. But however, 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 y'all, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Now, apparently, you know, in the midst of all of that, um, she, not she, but in the midst of all of that, um, Malaysia was attacked verbally by some of the women on the show. Um, she was accused of knowing that the girl knew about angel she was on everybody was under the impression that she knew and that malaysia was under some was doing some messy stuff that's what she was being accused of you know what i'm saying and um it was just it was just crazy so a lot of people accused british of reaching a lot of people said that british was doing absolutely too much she was involving herself in a situation that had absolutely nothing to do with her that was pretty much what was said um on last night's episode um so yeah there was a lot of backlash and a lot of people were going in on the ladies for confronting malaysia and accusing her of being messy now um now the girl herself ain't uh ashley took to instagram and spoke out about it and she shared her thoughts about the situation that aired last night on last night's episode on one of last night's episodes it was episode 10 because you know last night basketball wives had episode 9 and 10 airing last night so she took to instagram and she pretty much kind of threw malaysia under the bus to be quite honest and aired her out for lying and such you know to be honest um so this is what she said, and I got this from Reality Chat. Shout out to them. So um, I'm going to read this just in case y'all aren't able to read it because I know that the, the letters look very small, and I've screenshotted this so I can read it from my phone in case y'all can't see it. So this is what Ashley, um, Malaysia's so-called new friend, had to say. So she said, "So wait, so I'm hearing basketball wives chose to portray me telling Malaysia that I dated Tariq at the event. Well, I told her at the bowling alley. No wonder, no wonder why they made us redo that part. Mm. So basically, I'm gonna stop right here. So basically, she said that she had already told Malaysia that she dated Tariq at the bowling alley. So Malaysia knew about her dating Tariq before she even brought her to the event. 
Let me repeat myself. So Malaysia already knew. So we all under the impression because we all dragging British. We all dragging Brooke. We all drag because I was one of the ones that did. If you haven't seen my video, go tune into it. We all dragging them because we feel like they reaching in that Malaysia really didn't know. And she had just been told right minutes before they found out. But this girl is basically saying that she already told Malaysia at the bowling alley. And the produce the production team is making it look like she just put this shit on Malaysia right there at the event. No, she already told her. Okay, that's number one. Like, don't play with me. And I hate that they played with Malaysia. And I had her back the whole time. Not sure what they showed y'all, which is why I haven't watched the show at all because I knew it would be some bullshit. We went to that event in support of another black woman. Never in life expecting someone to play victim and be messy and ruin someone's moment never expecting to be defending myself over a man that i dated over seven years ago and shorty sitting there pregnant sitting there seven months pregnant for another man fuck out of here i have a six and a three-year-old baby after that relationship go figure and anyone who knows me knows i'm extremely non-confrontational and i'm never arguing over these boys i was very nice to angel in the beginning but what you don't but what you won't do is use me to make yourself a victim but just tell everyone the truth you hate me still to this day because you knew how that man felt about me anyway the ladies on the show looked amazing y'all enjoy so that's basically what old girl had to say in regards to the situation. So what I took from this is that she told Malaysia about her dating this man before they even got to that event. So Malaysia already knew. They already knew this. Um, and I'm looking at the comments in the, um, the comment section. And um, people are saying this. Let me read some of the comments in the comment section. So. One of the girls said, so British was right. Malaysia was being messy. How do you do that to your friend who's high risk pregnant? Girl, bye. Someone else said she just confirmed that, that she told Laquisha in advance. She's messy and British was not reaching reality TV gold, I guess. So then she said, sis, you're basically exposing Malaysia. Didn't she say she didn't know, but she knew and still brought you to the event. I'm still team Malaysia, but that's a bit messy. She went there knowing Angel would be there, making it known that Malaysia knew beforehand. Bye, Felicia, playing the victim pot meets kettle. All she did was expose Malaysia. No one cared or even attacked her. They were pissed at Malaysia for bringing you around because they knew that you dated Tariq. And then, um, what's another comment that I saw? I love Malaysia, but she's only doing what they do is some way worse. So Malaysia and Ashley do y'all thing, but they do it, but in ways, chin your chest out, fuck it. Okay. And someone else, the last comment that I'm going to read is the way she just proved British's whole point, exposing what we've been knew about Malaysia. Malaysia is not a victim. I'm sorry, y'all forgot those last two seasons because she was going through something. We supposed to feel bad after the way they did OG. Ciao. So those were some of the comments that was under the post on reality chat. And this is what I'm going to say about it. I think it's pretty unfortunate because my, my thing is I was blaming this all on production, which is it is part partly production's fault. If you're really being honest about it. It, 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 it really is. But I was blaming production, blaming all of this on production. I said they pretty much set Malaysia's ass up. That's pretty much what happened. But this girl said that she had already told Malaysia and the production team made them redo the scene right there they made them redo it so a lot of, so this was basically production still being messy but it doesn't take away from the fact that malaysia knew so this was pretty much a mixture of malaysia already knowing that this girl dated Tariq, and she still brought her around but it's also a situation of production playing production games to make a reality tv moment that's what this really is um that's that's what it is i still don't feel sorry for malaysia um because i mean i just i just think back to what she's done in the last two seasons and how she's ganged up on people like you know Je jennifer og you know she ganged up on all these different people and now they're all doing it to her now and we're supposed to forget about that because she's quote unquote depressed now so i don't know but like i said it's not entirely her fault it's also, production's fault. 
And really, this girl saying that they played Malaysia, which they kind of did play her. Let me just, it's so many different variables here. You know, at this point, British wasn't completely reaching, but production had a hand in this too. So I just want to know what y'all think about it, because all this girl pretty much did was expose Malaysia and made her look bad and made her look like she was playing a victim, which is what I've been feeling like she's been doing all season. But I just want to know what you guys think about that. How do you guys feel about that? Do you think, do you think that um, this was a production ploy? Because like I said, she did say that Malaysia talked that she told Malaysia at the bowling alley. They made it seem like on TV that she had just told her at the um, at Jennifer's event. So basically what happened was production scene that, okay, she used to date, you know, Angel's ex, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to make them redo it at this, at this event. So then it could be some drama. They, they did kind of play both of them. But what I'm trying to understand is why is everybody so mad? She dated Tariq a long motherfucking time ago. Angel pregnant by a whole nother man and is in a relationship with a whole nother man. Why the fuck are you still upset about somebody that dated your baby daddy? years ago i never understand that i've been in in so many rooms with so many people that dated a man that i already dated who gives a fuck i don't understand why, why people be so pressed about that type of stuff it really ain't nothing to be pressed about but all this is some bullshit you know what i'm saying all this is some bullshit and angel love talking about her pregnancy and love playing victim out of time which is the reason why i did not like her from the very beginning i did not like angel when she first came on the show because i felt like she was a fucking victim and she's allowing the likes of british and brooke to speak for her she's weak as fuck honestly she weak and that's all i'm gonna say about that i'm gonna wait to see what y'all say in the comments that's all i'm gonna wait on because i don't think that it's fully malaysia's fault um with this situation now that we got more information about it um we could all argue that it was malaysia being messy um uh, and she, because she knew already but we could also argue that this was a production ploy because they made them redo it not knowing that it was gonna cause a whole explosion so it's a mixture of everything y'all but, you know, it is what it is. That's what these producers do. So, um, yeah. So, with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. Also, click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And also, if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my IG, and my TikTok will be down below in the comment section. As I get ready to get up out of here, I will leave you guys with... Um, a promo from Nova Cosmetics. Be sure to... Um, be sure to be on the lookout for other videos that may be coming from me today or tomorrow. I'm out of here, y'all. Bye.